Alright, right, YouTube, this is Ben, and uh, this is a 1.8 Everything Exposed video that I am going to put together for you guys. I've um, spent a little bit of time building this place to kind of show off what's new. And uh, it's right next to a cave, obviously. Oh, yeah, that's a new feature. I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I'll just get started. Um, firstly, you can notice the stone brick and glass panel. They're two new bricks. Two new uh, blocks, actually, sorry. We've got typical brick, and then we've got brick slabs, which are new. And we've also got brick step. And uh, don't need to go how, to, how, you, how you craft them. We've got vines, which are naturally generated in uh, swamps on trees. And you can pick them off using shears. You can't without shears. And um, this is just a typical house. We've got the new chest. These are all, you can stack up to 64, and these are the new meats, cooked and uncooked. And, um, Ender Pearls drop from Enderman in 1.8. Pre-release, they do nothing. And, uh, rotten flesh, you can eat and it poisons you. If you eat raw chicken, it can sometimes poison you. Uh, let's drop from chicken, this is drop from cows. That's drop from pigs, obviously. That's from farming watermelons, and that's from zombies, they don't drop feather anymore. That's the chest animation. And, um, we've got half... Half slabs of the stone, stone brick, and that's a step there, but I've got a bad, better show. This is our tables, not just implemented tables, kind of, it's just a pressure pad on top of a, a, um, a fence, but uh, it doesn't like react like a normal pressure pad would, like it can't actually be used to activate redstone. This is the typical setup you'd find inside a village, a naturally generated village house. I'm nowhere near a village, so I can't show you that, guys, but I'll put a link in the description to one of my videos that has village in it so you can have a look at that yeah, I don't know. So this is a spider web that doesn't appear in houses but I just put it in the corner because it's very commonly found in mines not mines sorry caves and is always found in mine shafts which I've got down that big mine and if you hit it with a sword it drops string every single time one string also you get caught in it and it slows you down and items also get caught in it so that's that. Um, yeah, animation. Okay, um, we've got a little farm here with a new item, the fence gate. And then you go through that, and we've got pumpkins that you can farm now. And you can farm watermelons, and they farm by doing you till the soil on both sides of the water, adjacent to the water, and then you also till one next to that. And the crop actually grows out to the side onto the tilled soil where you punch and collect it. And you're going to have to retool that soil if you want to keep farming. And our pumpkins now not only provide the use for jack-o'-lanterns or if some of you reskin your texture packs, you can you know, watermelon grow. You can um, put them on your head, like so. And this will stop endermen from noticing you. So the notorious endermen mob no longer notices you. You can stare at it, go up, sneak behind it and so forth. And we've got watermelons, which is pretty cool. You can get watermelon seed from mine shafts. You break them, you get a bunch of watermelon pieces, which on a crafting bench can be crafting two things. One gives you watermelon seed, so you can replant it, melon seed. Or if you fill up your workbench like this, you get a melon, which you can Put down anywhere for building, building purposes. Just put that back there. Also, you can see Sugar Hand is growing on sand. That's not a bug, I believe. I think he's been implemented that. And it naturally grows full high a lot more commonly now. There's a bait at 1.8. That's just a nice tree I put in. <laughs> um, over here, we've got the mushrooms, which don't naturally generate in the pre release, although they will in 1.8. At the moment, you can um, get them in the pre release by bone milling a mushroom, for example. And I'm not really a fan of them. They look pretty ugly if you ask me. So get some space. So that's that. And no need to show you that this last time. But um that's what they're like. You break it and it drops some mushrooms every so often. There we go. I don't know what this does. I'm trying to recollect it. Well, yeah, they're pretty ugly. I'm not a fan of them. Don't really like them. 
So that's that. Underneath we've got my interpretation of a cell and um so got the typical button iron iron there iron gate. You leave that and uh, go up here to my interpretation of ruins which as far as I know aren't naturally generated in the pre-release so I've just reskinned my iron and diamond blocks iron and gold blocks I can't remember to the mossy, mossy and the cracked and this is my ruins that I dug and made myself pretty proud <laughs> so this is what I believe they'll be like maybe have mushrooms or something I'm not sure and um this block here which I spawned with too many items is like a fake stone block that you put down and oh so we take a piece sorry you put it down and you break it, it spawns this little critter which doesn't do any damage because it will spawn but normally it would take half a heart every time it hit you there you go it's called a silver fish oh, no, yeah. it's dead so then we've got that's ruins we've got our big mine mine cave thing here which will be the last part of the video so, oh we've got a new bow sorry you pull back and hold whoops for a stronger shot Skeleton. You hit that one. Problem is, skeletons also really strong, and you can't spam. So it's like when you spam, it's kind of necessary to hold and pull back now. So this is a big cave rave thing. I just used some mushrooms to jump up there, and we've got a mine shaft, which, as far as I'm concerned, they're quite common. And uh, just give you a really. Quick we go show them. Oh. Okay, so this is typically what they're like. Oh, I think they're supposed to be kind of glitchy like this and they have torches naturally in them. I think I put these down though, they do generate torches. And um you find chests with diamond and other stuff in them, but I don't wanna overdo the video, so I'm going to wrap it up with that, and if you guys haven't already got the pre-release, the link for the safe download supported by Minecraft Farms will be in the description. Although, it's not really much point to it considering 1.8 is going to be released very, very soon. If you guys like this video, please drop a like, a comment, and uh, some feedback. What I missed out, if I did miss anything, I don't think I did. And, um, thanks for watching. See you later. Fuck my